Time to wrap up Zachtober. Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Zach with Xbooks and welcome back to Zachtober. This is day 30. We've got one more video coming out tomorrow. It's pretty much just a farewell video. Um, but uh, in this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap up the books I read. I finished nine. I just finished one today, even though I said I was not planning to read, but I did anyway. Um, we'll have as many of these linked down below as we can. I'm going to try and keep it brief. going to be probably one shot, and um, we're going to have like three different like categories here. Um, but yeah, otherwise, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And let's get into the first book which is Daphne by Josh Mallerman. I just finished this book. This was sent by Scott. Thanks again, Scott. This book for me, I, all these other ones we have had recent reads on, this is the only one that has not been in one because obviously I just finished it. Um, so these other ones I'll go over a little bit more briefly, but this one I want to talk about a little bit more because it has not been talked about yet. This is about a basketball team that is being like haunted by the spirit of an ex I want to say she used she did not play basketball, but she was really tall and was like deemed like a freak. And her name was Daphne. Um, one day, a group of people killed her, and she's like getting revenge in a for, in like a sense. Um, weird things happen in the book. I almost DNF'd it. I came really close, but I pushed through it. Um, it ended up being a three star. It's on the thinner side of a book. It's not really like super long. Um, but it just wasn't clicking with me at first. And eventually, once I got more towards like the second half of the book, the part I was going to DNF, started picking up a little bit more and I more enjoyed the story then. Um, just critiques I would have is instead of it being like, there was no chapters, there was just like little breaks, but like, I don't know, if he had maybe done chapters with like the girls on the team that we were like following at that time might have been a little bit better because there are times I kind of felt lost and I didn't know who I was even following in terms of like, all right, what player am I following? Okay, who's this? Okay, what's going on? Um, but besides that, it was an all right book. It's just that no chapter thing kind of irked me a little bit with it. But, you know, three stars, it was all right. Um, I don't know. I got to let it simmer a little bit more before I can say I'd recommend it, so... Um, but yes, this is the first book in group one. Next one is Those Across the River by Christopher Buhlman. You know the beef I had with this one. Ended up being two two or three stars. I think it was two. Um, first half of the book was going really well. And then second half, or second, or maybe not the second half. It was maybe the last third of the book was just out there. It just, it felt way off pace with the entire rest of the book. And I just... I don't know, it, it really dinged a lot of points for me. So, uh, Those Across the River, Christopher Buhlman. And the last book in this grouping is Hell House, Richard Matheson. Another book that got two or three stars. It was a classic. It was really not, like, the best. Again, I did this in one of my other recent reads. I gave it, like, two or three stars. It was just out there. I, it's just weird. Some parts were just odd. The ghosts were just awkward. So, I mean, it's, you know, this is, like, one of those haunted house books, but, like, it's deemed, like, a classic group of people go there trying to, like, conquer, you know, the Belasco house. Nobody's been able to do so. People have been driven to madness, killing themselves, killing others, and stuff like that. <sighs> If you watch my recent reads with this, you know the beef I have with it because I said it. So I'm just going to leave it at that. There's just weird stuff in there. Um, next grouping I've got here are like short books. Um, ones I enjoyed, but just kind of small. Uh, more, scary story, more scary stories to tell in the dark by like other, like a bunch of people. Uh, a lot of good stories in this thing. The one that I that stands out to me mainly is because I played baseball was, I think it was like Good News and Bad News or something like that. Um, I do not remember the title of it, but it was a really fun story because I was a baseball player and it's deemed not baseball stuff. Um, but there's a lot of cool stories in this. Um, there is a third one in the trilogy. I think it's even more scary stories to tell in the dark. It's just a tongue twister to say that, honestly. Pretty solid stories in here. Really enjoyable. 
Uh, next in this little grouping is Attack of the jack o lanterns by R.L. Stein. This is a Goosebumps book. It is Goosebumps number 48. I had read this mainly because I wanted to get some Halloween reads in, and this one is based off of Halloween stuff. Um, it's all right. It's a Goosebumps book. It's, I, I don't know. It's enjoyable. I think I gave it three or four stars. Um, Goosebumps books to me are like hard to rate because it's like, and I feel like I like to think I'm beyond that age group, but I'm, I don't know. Maybe I'm not. Um, but yeah, pretty solid stuff. I need to read the other 50 something I still have to read for Goosebumps so I can do a tier rank video uh, for next October. Wink, wink. Um, but uh, yeah, pretty solid story. Next one that is on the shorter side is another R.L. Stein book, and that's Halloween Night. So honestly, besides the last three I have to talk about, this is probably my most favorite one that I read out of the other six I've got here. Maybe a close second would be Daphne. I don't know. Um, but this is about a Halloween party that is like, the premise is like, this one girl has to live with this, uh, I want to say it's her cousin, and she's like, I don't want to call her like a slut, but she's like, kind of like, weird. And so, she's taking people's boyfriends, doing weird stuff, and like, her and her group of friends are like, we're gonna kill her, <laughs> but it's like, Oh, but it's only for, like, a class project that this teacher has for, like, a homicide thing. It's like, oh, no, we're going to kill her. And, like, it gets really weird, and it's got a really weird twist ending. Um, I listened to this on YouTube, and it's, like, not, like, a book narration. It's, like, actors. Kind of felt like a play. I don't know if you ever listened to, like, The Crucible online, but, like, it's the same thing. It, like, it felt like a play going on, which is really awkward and weird. So, there you have Halloween Night, R.L. Stein. And that leads me to the next three books. The last um, section I have is the Stephen King section. I reread three books this year, all of which got progressively better, except for one of them, um, which I did a recent read on this. Check it out up here. Did it for October. It would be up here somewhere. Check it out. Um, Carrie is the first one I did. We did a podcast episode about this, Danielle and I. This was uh, Danielle, I was about to say this is Stephen's first book. This is Danielle's first Stephen King book. And uh, I think she gave it four stars. Um, I reread this, gave it four stars. Again, like we said, we did a podcast. I did a recent reads video on it. The second half of the book is superior to the first half. Those are the main thoughts I have on it. So, um, But overall, still a good experience, but just... Not like a top 10, top 20 Stephen King book for me. So, uh, the next reread I did was Misery. And oh, M goodness, this book jumped into my top 10. It is like, I think it ended up being number six. It's so good. I had beef with it the first time around because of the whole like interludes of like following Paul Sheldon's like writing of like the new misery book but like I this time around I didn't even focus on it I didn't care I just kind of blanked out when it came up and just listened to the rest of it and it definitely made the experience better um <clears throat> very good book five stars such an amazing book like OMG um the last book I'm going to talk about is the one that I was most anticipating to read this October the big boy that is it. And it definitely, pun intended. That's the funny thing talking about this book. Anytime you say it, it's just like it. It? Yeah, it. Whatever. I'm tired. Okay, so this book is another five star. It got into, out of third place in my top ten, Stephen King got into second place. Um, if you have not seen that video, I'm presuming by me saying that, you know what's in first place. Whatever. If you haven't seen it, though, check it out. Um, we'll link it down below or up top or Danielle will do her thing. Um, but, uh, pretty much just as good as I remembered it. It's such an amazing book. Again, only beef I have with it is the thing near the end. Everyone knows what I'm talking about at this point. I mean, if you haven't read it, yeah. Um, but, uh, yes, still a really solid book. Still love the story. Awesome things happen in this book. Yeah. So there's it. All right. So. There you have the nine books I was able to conquer this is October. I did start a 10th, did not finish it. I'm sorry if you were anticipating Autumn Crow, just I did not finish it this year. Um, maybe I'll do it in November. I don't know. Might happen. 
Um, but uh, yes, remember we are doing a giveaway still. The last day will be tomorrow, Halloween. Um, the parameters are in a video I did with Danielle. So go back and check that out. We'll link it somewhere in here so you know what you got to look for. In that video is also the ways you can enter. Besides what we say in the video, there's like six other ways you can enter. So um, we'll pick the winner eventually. It'll probably be announced. At the first video in November we eventually will get to. I think we're going to announce the winner then. So, But it's going to be a little bit before we do that. We'll talk about that tomorrow. Um, but yes, we also got the podcast. Check it out down below. Bookstagram, check it out down below. Danielle's channel, check it out down below. And all the other stuff down below. This has been fun. I'm going to wrap it all up tomorrow. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you read for October, October, whatever you want to call it, whatever. Um, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Later. Mm -hmm.